Greetings. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Dan Cat, and I am the man behind Balkansman, a dark folk um, act from England. And uh, this video is going to be uh, an introduction to um, potentially a series of videos that I'll be doing where I um, talk about my writing processes um, when I come to put songs together. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, over the years I've received many emails and messages from people who um, are aspiring uh, songwriters, maybe in a, a roughly similar vein to Walkensman, and um, they, they don't seem to know how to go about beginning to even write a song. They don't, they, they, they're um, a bit kind of lost as to how they should approach songwriting and, and they ask me how I do it and I'm always happy to help. I'm always happy to offer some kind of guidance. So I thought um, this video might be of interest to, to some people out there. Um, and I hope it doesn't destroy any mystique or anything too much. I know that, um, especially with this kind of music, uh, there is a kind of magic in not knowing how songs are created. And I don't think that anything that I'm going to talk about will destroy that. Um, I certainly hope not, because I, I, no matter how much you talk about a, a songwriting process, it's not um, a rigid, calculative formula. There's no, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to say to you, if you do this, this and this, you can write a song just like this. Um, that's not how it works. But um, if you've got a starting point, if you've got a melody, no matter how simple, um, then this might be of use to you, because I'll be talking about um, how my process always begins with what I believe to be a good, decent, catchy, memorable melody, evocative melody. And that's always the starting point. And from there, um, I build a chord sequence around it uh, and a whole song structure and other instruments. And that's what I'll be talking about. Um, I'm not musically, theoretically trained. I can't read music. I can't write music. So everything I do is instinctive and um you know it, it's just by ear everything i do so i'm not going to claim that how i do it is a um theoretically correct way or a professional way or the right way it's just my way it's just just the way that i do it i'm sure that with the same melodies uh, someone with a, a more musical background could create something that's um, a bit more um, technically correct, I guess, a bit more, you know, true to musical form using uh, tried and tested um, methods. But um, I like to think that the way that Walkinsman sounds comes from the fact that I do write very instinctively and I don't follow any specific rules. I, I go purely by what sounds good to me. Um, and that's all that matters. So if you're out there, if you don't know how to write music, or if you do, then this might be of use to you. If you don't know how to write music, then, um, but you know a few chords and you're not tone deaf, um, then I think that you'll get something out of this. Um, so yeah, my intention with Walkinsman has always been um, to take the listener out of their kind of mundane reality, to sweep them off to somewhere more um, magical, more mystical, more free, more wild, more timeless. Um, so everything I do, the melodies I write, the types of chords, the, the chord sequences, the, the production, the rhythms, everything is to kind of create this tr kind of dreamlike, um, mournful kind of, but at times heroic, um, I guess, noble sound. Um, and I'm always writing with that in mind. And the song that I'm going to be talking about today um, in the next video is The Fire Bell. Um, and that's, uh, all of this is certainly true of that. That's definitely a song which um, has a mournful aspect, but also a kind of uplifting, heroic, epic aspect to it as well. Um, it's a bit of a journey, that song, so um, hopefully when I go through it, you'll um, see how it get, got pieced together. Uh, and I'm doing my best to remember it because, remember, it was 
recorded in uh, 2015, I think it was. Two, yeah, 2015 it was recorded and it was written. Um, I mean, I began writing it at least a year or two before that. Um, so it's been a while. So I'm, I've, I've done my best to try and remember how I put it together. So um, hopefully you'll, you'll get something out of it. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video to go through the fire bow.